Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Sir Johnson, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Popeye and to your many, many, many subscribers around the world. Yes, sir. Yes. I tell you something. What you did last week was well received because... A lot of people have been reaching out, asking questions, you know, they, they really appreciate it. And I am, of course, very happy to be a participant. Anything for my Jamaican family yes, sir. who are in need of legal services. Yes, sir. All right, um, we, 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 we got some questions, um, but most of them is, uh, have to do with land. Uh, so the first question was, someone bought a piece of land from their landlord and they started to build on the land. Apparently, the person didn't get any approval to start building from the municipal council. So, a stop order was placed on it by the municipal council. Now, the person, they are saying that they went ahead and they got the land surveyed as also a plan drawn for building the house. The person said that all they need now is the tax receipt from the landlord, but the landlord is refusing to hand over that. What action can somebody like that take? All right, so in scenarios like you have just outlined, yes, I would like to give some, make some preliminary points before I answer you. So to start with, when it comes to land, yes, any transaction or dealing in land is supposed to be in writing. Yes. And because of a lot of Jamaicans, and you'll be surprised, treat land in the same way they would buy and sell a car yes. or anything else. Mm -hmm. They don't put it in writing. And so down the road, it causes problems. But even more importantly, it is always important to get the services of an attorney yes. when you are going to deal with land. Yes, because some people try to bypass the lawyers and then they end up uh, get, get knocked. Yeah. Well, I, I, to put it in, in my words, <laughs> yes. Set up their generation mm -hmm. for legal issues that never end. Yes, yes. So, so it is the classic case mm -hmm. of being penny wise and pound foolish. Pound foolish, yes. Because you will, because they will enter into agreement or an agreement, mm -hmm. and they point out the corners of where they should, they, where they should build. Mm -hmm. um, they build the land, pay the money. When they die, their children on the other side mm -hmm. don't know the exact terms yes. for the grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And so because there's no documentation to set out the boundaries of the agreement and the contract, mm -hmm. it leads to problems. So I would always recommend that when you are going to buy land, you get the services of an enough. attorney, and there are many, many attorneys in Western Jamaica yes. who offer just that kind of service. Yes. Um, and I'm just going to give this piece of gratuitous advice. It's what is uncontrolled, but it's not, it's not directly related to the question. Yes. And it is this. If you are involved in a relationship with someone, mm -hmm. never ever go and build on their family land. Oh. Don't put your money in your spouse your girlfriend, your baby mother, your boyfriend, your husband, do not build on their family land. You yes. understand? Yes. Unless your piece can be cut off and you get your own title in your name. Yes, yes. Um, yes. So, so that's that, that a bit of free advice. <laughs> yes, so, yes. So in relation to this now, Yes. As it turns out, in matters such as this, I'd always like to see the paperwork. Yes. And the paperwork between the parties will set out how I would advise them. Mm -hmm. In this case, assuming there is paperwork, mm -hmm. like even a, an agreement drafted by a layman, and even an agreement drafted by a layman yes. is better than no agreement at all. Mm -hmm. You know, because at least it will set out when it's when it was a sale took place, the amount and what was being sold and the name of the parties. So, so would a, would a receipt suffice? Um, a receipt would go a very far way in assisting the process. 
Okay. Um, okay. Um, but I received back talk by an agreement for sale that has been stamped at the tax office. Yes. Is way better. Yes. But an agree, but a receipt is extremely important, and I will. Not, you, I cannot overemphasize the importance of a receipt. Yes. Um. So, assuming there is paperwork in this case, what I would recommend mm -hmm. to the parties is that they go and go and see an attorney. Yes. Who could actually write to the landlord was being difficult. Mm -hmm. So essentially threatening that if you don't give the paperwork that is necessary, mm -hmm. we can take you to court to enforce the agreement. Yes. And and um, this is an action which is well known to law called specific performance. Specific so okay. It's, okay. It's, it's, mm -hmm. for land. Yes. Where you have bought land and the person who's supposed to give you title mm -hmm. or hand over the land is becoming hesitant. Mm -hmm. you can actually take it to court for what is known as specific performance. So that is for land. But of course, to be, a, to be able to do so, it yes. is always good to have the paperwork. Yes, yes, yes. So, so assuming that the person retains an attorney and he writes to the landlord, yes. and the landlord comes in and is an agreement, then the necessary documentation can be prepared and submitted to the relevant municipal council mm -hmm. for construction to come in. Okay. And the person would not have gotten in this difficulty as well if it was at the start. Yes. They had gone to the municipal council, that we call the parish council. Yes. With their plan mm -hmm. to get it approved. Because mm -hmm. the parish council at that point would ask for a certain proof of ownership. ownership. Yeah. Yes. Which would have triggered the request from the landlord even before. Even mm -hmm. before. Construction. Construction begin. Okay. Began. Yes, 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 yes. So, yes. when persons are going to build, mm -hmm. it is always advisable, always advisable that they get a plan drawn and that plan is taken to the munis relevant municipal council mm -hmm. where it is approved. Mm -hmm. Because when they do that, um, it takes out the problems on the back end. Yes. And usually, when this is being done and it's been done through an attorney, there are other things that we do. Yes. So, for instance, you would get what is called letters of possession. Yes. So these are documents that you would be able to take to the National Water Commission and to JPS mm -hmm. to get your services, your 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 utility services, because it doesn't make sense you are building and you don't have light or water. Yeah. Um. So that would be my advice in yes. this event. Yes. That there's absolutely no paperwork mm -hmm. and the, the the landlord is being difficult yes. then uh, this is a matter that has to end up in court yes. where a declaration of entitlement or ownership is sought and uh, it's a long difficult process so it's always so, so to avoid the problems on the back end mm -hmm. get the attorney on the front end and even though it might seem to be expensive Mm -hmm. It is a service that will serve you for generations to come. Uh, uh, somebody else, somebody else is saying that um, their mother and father, who, uh, they bought a piece, of, they bought an acre of land decades ago, and they built the family built home on it. Uh, well, they, they, the mother and father built their houses on it, built their home on it. The father is now deceased. Now, after passing, four of the children, they also built houses on the property. The person is saying that. Their portion of land, it was surveyed and they obtained a diagram. However, it was found out that the mother's name was not on the title. I, what, no, I, I discovered that my father did not add my mother's name to the title. I am not sure for what reason he did not do that. Anyway, when I further checked as to what can be done to rectify this tricky issue, I learned that it might cost millions to rectify. So they are asking you, what advice? They are saying that their mother is in her 80s. What advice can be given? All right. So the law makes special provisions for circumstances like these. And in, 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 in this, this question touches and concerns what I call planning your estate or the making of wills. Yes. So, yes. So 
most of the difficulties now being experienced would not have arisen if a will had been prepared. Yes. So um, even so even if the mother's name was not on it, if a will was there, everything would be it's <laughs> right. Yes. But but even with, even in the absence of the mother's name and the children's name, yes. it does not it does not end there. Yes. Um because there is a particular piece of legislation yes. called the Inheritance Act, which sets out the entitlement of beneficiaries. Okay. So 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 when a parent dies and leaves a spouse and children, yes. the law essentially says that the estate of that person goes to the wife and children okay. or to the spouse and children. Spouse being a single man or a single woman who have lived with a single man or a single woman for a period of five years or more. Or more, okay. So, so you don't have to be married, but once you meet those criteria, mm -hmm. so once the person dies, in those circumstances, married or is classified as spouse, yes. then the law will dictate as to how the property or the estate of the deceased is to be, is to be divided amongst the beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. So the wife will get anywhere from a half, depending on how many children they are, yes. up to two thirds if there's just one child. Yes. And so taking that into, into account, uh, what the first thing that will be done is to apply for what is called letters of administration or administer the estate. Yes. Where the most likely person in this case would be the wife as the administrator. Mm -hmm. And then when that is done, all the names can be added, added to, to, yes. the title, to the title okay. of, um, of um, the gentleman who has been deceased. Yes. Now, yes. to get his own piece of so, so to get his own piece there are many ways to go about it but the recommendation that i would actually make is do not be concerned about this piece alone yes approach it in a holistic fashion okay meaning get all the siblings together yes, and the mother mm -hmm. come to an agreement get a survey have the properly property properly subdivided mm -hmm. So that each and everyone can get their own title. Yes. And the cost, and more importantly, the cost will be borne by four persons instead of one. So what? Than, so what? This really cost millions to rectify, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> no, depends on the value, value of, of the, the land. Estate. Oh. So, let's say it was a piece of remote land up in the country. Yes. With two board structures. Mm -hmm. And the total value is, let's say, five million. It wouldn't cost millions. Okay. Okay. But if it is, let's say, prime land now, yes. closer to town. Yes. And and the dream houses are built on it. Yes. And the dream houses are valued several millions, tens of millions. Yes. Then you are going to run into Mi millions. Millions. But oh. it, is, it is always a percentage of the value of, of the what property. You have. Oh, I see. I yes. see. And, and so, because you build now, it's not just the value of the land. So the land itself might be valued at ten million. Yes. But you might have three siblings or four siblings. They're, they're saying that they're, they're they're saying that four of the children built houses on it. So it would be five houses now on the land. Ah, <laughs> uh, and and assuming that these are substantial structures. Yes. Two story. <laughs> then it's going to run into millions. Oh. Um, and that is why I say they should all come together yes. and bear the cost. Yes. So, it's going to cost millions, but it's not, this is another circumstance where I think they should actually find the money to have it done. Yes. Because what they will now do, because if they don't do that, mm -hmm. what is going on? When these four children die, yes. these yes. children yes. are now going to come and have issues with the land. Yes, yes. And and this, you're going to find that the land is further subdivided. Well, when I say further subdivided, mm. persons take their own house mm. spot yes. and build. Yes. And the situation gets more complex oh, yes. going down into the generations. So it must, it must so, be rectified from now. Yes, yes. So rectified, mm -hmm. and that way, when each person gets their splinter title, you, you now have a document to start creating generational wealth. Because remember, when you have your own title, yes. 
and you need you can take it to the bank to get a loan yes 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 you can use it as security mm -hmm. you can use it as security to to fund your children's education mm -hmm. so 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 yes it's going to cost millions but the benefits mm -hmm. that you get from ensuring that you 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 divide the land properly do the things that are necessary to get your own title mm -hmm. The benefit is just exponential and way in excess of a couple million dollars. Yes. Because if it is, each person has a house valued at, say, 15 million. Mm -hmm. um, that's 15 by 4, 60, yeah, 60. 15 by 5, that's 75 million. Yes. yes. To my mind, these are persons, they are not necessarily rich, but mm -hmm. these are persons who are ambitious and hardworking. Yes. So they should drive that same ambition into making sure that their estate going forward is protected. Is protected. Yes. And yes. don't look at it as spending millions. Look at it as an investment mm -hmm. that will unlock additional benefit for you because having gotten your own title, yes. what if you decide to sell and move somewhere else? <laughs> yes, yes, because it's yours now. Yes, 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 yes. If you have no title, who's going to come and buy a two-story house and can't get title? <laughs> That's true. Family, man? That's true. That's true. Yes, yes. it's going to cost millions, but my strong recommendation, go see an attorney, get the estate sorted out and get the land properly divided and mm. each person have their title mm. and start the creation of generational wealth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody is saying that their, their father died um, 15 years ago and left four acres of land. The person is saying that he or she was paying the taxes on the land and they are now finding out that their uncle have wired up the property and is claiming it. What can be done? All right. So, this sounds like something that we can do for part two. Yes. Yes. Essentially, essentially, what we have is coming into play is what we call squatters' rights. Oh, okay. And so, so that's a layman term on the road. Yes. Um, so is, in terms is, of is it the same as adverse position? Is, it, is that that? Is that it? That, 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 that is it. <laughs> okay. adverse, an adverse position yes. is where you occupy a piece of land yes. for 12 years or more. Mm -hmm. Open, undisturbed occupation. And yep. So after 12 years and you're paying the taxes, it now forms the basis for you to actually apply for the title to be issued in your name. Okay. No, no. So when you say home on a, undisturbed, so if you just fence it and leave it, mm -hmm. nobody will know that you are claiming it. Okay. Okay. Or if you fence it and you're trying something, and a family member come and say, "No, it's your grandfather land." Mm -hmm. You are that that simple act of saying a challenge is a disturbance. Yes. So yes. I would recommend that in those circumstances, if somebody on your land and you tell them and they don't move, get an attorney to write to them. Yes. So you can have records to show yes. that they are not living undisturbed. So when they come 10 years on the road and say, but nobody never sent me thing to me, mm -hmm. you can't say, but you're a liar. 10 years ago, I had Lawyer Johnson write to you and here's a copy of the letter. Yes. And yes. you were served by district constable, so on, so office daily, so on, so Yes. And it doesn't say, well, you don't have 12 years, what well, undisturbed, you know? Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. have to move. Uh, so, know that the, so know that the uncle is on it. Yes. It makes, it makes life a little more complex because this is a family member now. Yes. With claiming an interest. Yes. We don't know if previous, before that, or we don't know if before that, there was um, any agreement mm -hmm. between the father and the, and the uncle. And the uncle, which would be the father's brother, yes. 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 Uh, so we don't know if he might have a legitimate interest in the property. Yes. We don't know several things. So what, again, would come back here is, come back to be of great assistance is if we could see whatever documentation there is. Yes. That, so writing, putting things in writing when it's such and concern land is always important. Yes. And so this uncle, Depending on the circumstances, he, as dishonest as he is, mm -hmm. knowing that this is his father, his brother's land, mm -hmm. and he's trying to 
rob his, his, his father's children of their inheritance. Yes. Um, they need to go and see an attorney quickly. Yes. Ex expeditiously. And yes. that is why, coming from the top end, I always say whenever you're going to do anything that touch and concern land, yes. get the services of an attorney. Time. Yes. Um, and write a will. Make sure you write a will. Because in Jamaica, it seems to be an impact part of our culture. Mm -hmm. But when someone dies and there is no will, sometimes there's a mad scrabble. Yes, yes. Aspect of the deceased. Mm -hmm. And this becomes especially important. And I want the men especially to listen. This applies to women too. Mm -hmm. And I want the men to listen especially. If you are married, and you are separated from your wife. Mm -hmm. And the world know that you are separated from your wife. And you go and you start a new relationship. And you have children with a new relationship. And the world knows that this is who you accept as family. Yes. And you die. The wife who you have not divorced can step in and make a claim on the estate. The making of, you see, when you make a will, you know, yes. what you do mm -hmm. is consciously determine what you want to have done mm -hmm. with your hard earned yes. money yes. and property. Yes, yes. You do not want the law to decide. Yes. Because apart from that, and I say next week, yes. there's another element that if you die without a will and you have children under 16, mm -hmm. The administrator general comes into play. Yes. And that, while this designed and supposed to make life easy, yes. has its own attendant difficulties yes. that are attached to it. Yes. yes. And I'll give you a quick example. Mm -hmm. I've seen where a husband dies mm -hmm. as wife and children. And the administrator general comes in and they freeze the estate. Wow. Because they have to examine whether or not there are any other children out there who are unknown. Yes. And I have seen where the vehicle that was usually the family vehicle, the husband will take his wife from. Yes. The vehicle happens to be in the wife, in the husband's name. Mm -hmm. And the difficulties that that can cause. Yes, I yes. will continue this part. Yes, man. Next week. Yeah, very, very important. Very, very important. But, but, but this is such an important point. You would not imagine the difficulties. I've seen it. So, gentlemen, ladies. Yes. Make, make your, your will. Make your will. Yes, 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 yes. Consult with your attorney. Mm -hmm. it, you might think it is expensive. Mm hmm. But trust me, it is more expensive not to have the services of an attorney when you're dealing with your estate yes. going forward. So Thank you, and Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good Johnson. day to you <laughs> and your listeners today. All right, Until sir. Until we again next week. Next week, sir, Johnson. Respect, sir. Respect, respect, respect. All right. Yeah, man.